First of all, sir, I absolutely loved your speech and enjoyed it. So, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So, on the same lines, how does it feel to be a TEDx speaker? It's good. It's good. It's something that uh, you know one uh, looks forward to, and I'm glad to have had the experience. Yeah. Thank you. Sir, so as teenagers, we're often very apprehensive as to what the future holds for us. So what advice would you like to give us? Well, uh, the idea is to have fun at this time. I think it's really important because, uh, you know, when you're older, you look back at a lot of memories. And uh, it's important that you make good memories at this time. So it's important to make uh, trips with friends and, uh, you know, with family and, and do the things that you want to. Uh, you know, this, this is, you know, youth is a time that... Uh, it goes by eventually, so it's really important to, uh, to, to do the things that are meaningful to you, discover new things, uh, build new hobbies, have new experiences, basically live life at this point, because uh, soon, soon you'll be dictated to by the world. That, that makes complete sense, sir. So, sir, you had an audience filled with people intently listening to you. So, what is this one particular part of your speech that you want them to take home with them? Well, I'd really like them to discover their strengths, things that are meaningful to them, things that actually bring them joy and give them the chance to become excellent at, at what they do. And if people can do that, I think uh, I'd be really happy. So it is often said that do what makes you happy, but people often chase money thinking money will bring them happiness in their life. So what would you like to tell them? Well, I'd like them to look at the research around happiness and the research around money and happiness and all the research around happiness says that, well, happiness is actually a complex thing. It's not something you can condense into two words of advice. Uh, happiness comes from multiple sources. Money certainly is not one of them. Uh, so I'd, I'd ask them to go and uh, look at the research around happiness. There's a course on Coursera uh, around happiness. They can explore that. It'll tell them a lot of things about it. Uh, happiness uh, comes from basically doing the things that give you joy and meaning and those could be different things for different people so the idea is to discover all the things that make people feel happiness and and then maybe do more of that so sir today you are in a school you know amidst students so how important do you think educational institutions are to find out or help a student develop their strength well i think they can play a very important role and that was what my talk was about i wanted to urge educational institutions to help students discover their strengths and then nurture them. Uh, so far what has happened is that students discover their strengths through a process of first discovering what their strengths are not. Mm -hmm. So you go through your school and your early career and you do this tick mark exercise of I don't like this, I don't enjoy this, I'm not good at this and then you wonder okay what am I good at and then you finally arrive at your strengths and that's rather late in life. So I think it's very important that educational institutions shorten that learning curve and during school help people understand, answer that question, what am I strong at? That is great advice, sir. And finally, how was your experience here at TEDxL Pro? It's been wonderful. I've been made to feel welcome. It's been a very, very smooth experience. I think the coordinators and everybody have uh, done a marvelous job. Uh, the place has been done up very well. So it's, uh, I think, a very professional exercise. Full marks to everybody who put in effort here. Thank you so much, sir.